Hello all, it's Terhi Koskinen here and I'm really excited to be a guest designer for Altenew for this summer. Um, I want to show you this layout I made with some gorgeous Altenew products, but before I really want to say thank you for the opportunity. The products are wonderful and I enjoyed every minute I had crafting. Um, but back to the layout. Uh, I'm doing this really colorful layout with um, doodle plumes, stamps and dies. And I'm starting with one big leaf stamp. I'm using black ink. Um, I'm using actually watercolor, uh, watercolor, <laughs> waterproof ink because I want to make sure that if I later use some wet mediums on top, um, the black won't splash around or smudge around, to be honest. So that's why I'm choosing this waterproof ink. I'm going to use this big leaf and the smaller leaf, not that much of different leaves, but I want to repeat the same same pattern and who wouldn't care about a little more exercise with Pixot or any other cutting tool. Um, and I'm going to use a big flower too. This is, I think this was the biggest uh, flower in this set and I really love it. It's really traditional flower. And I have an idea of this rainbow color thing for this layout at this point, but I wasn't sure how to make it. So I just rambled randomly, sorry I can't speak today, randomly made some flowers and leaves and later on when I have cut them then I will figure out how to use them actually. But at this point I'm just stamping around to each color and then cutting them all. And once I have the cut pieces I will let them aside for a while and do a little paper paper cluster for my photograph. In this photograph I have my daughters, who I of course adore as much <laughs> as possible, and I thought I want to give some color behind the um, photograph and also some dimension, and that's why I chose to uh, do these layers. I'm not making too much layers or too large layers, just some that I can use to add more things between the layers. Um, right now I'm thinking about how to set all my gorgeous leaves. I have the idea of adding them like this circle shape, but it takes some time to make it really cool. Uh, I wasn't sure if I'm going to add those flowers like like this right now. The colors are not um, like in the color wheel, but later on I decided to make them like, um, well, you can see it in the result. Anyway, um, at this point I wasn't that, that sure also if I should add the photograph to the upper uh, part of the page, because I usually don't leave the photograph this low. It just doesn't fit to my eye, but for this layout, it does. And as I had some black ink for the flowers, I also want to use some black for the title too, to add some contrast. And I chose these gorgeous alphas from Reflection Collection from Altenew. Um, I really like this font. It's really funky. It's uh, it's unusual, and I really adore it. It fits to any of the project you are making, and I really like it. Uh, I'm still making final moves for my paper cluster, and then I'm going to adhere it with double-sided tape. Um, I'm using double-sided tape, which is really, really strong, but if you want, you can use glue or anything that you prefer, even gel medium. That's a great way to adhere things, and you can still move them around before it dries. Uh, again, I chose another element from the Reflection collection, 
the clear sticker, uh, no, not stickers, acrylic shapes, um, the word loved on top of the photograph and then a butterfly to decorate the whole page. Uh, for the photograph, I used 3D foams to um, adhere it because I want to have some dimension. I also added some <clears throat> some thread between the paper cluster and the photograph because I want to have some some texture, some softness for the page, as always. Mm, anyway, uh, I'm also using the same same uh, 3D foam for the flowers and leaves because I want to make sure there's some air between uh, the flowers and leaves and the background paper. I'm going to use some watercolors afterwards. I have after I have um, adhere base, so I want to make sure there's a room for my watercolor brush. <laughs> um, I'm not going to paint the whole background, but some, and I want to make sure that they are really popping up from the background. At this point, you can see how I set the flowers. Um, both blues are in the same place and uh, both purples are in the same place and I wondered if I sh should do it like this or in another way but I ended up with this and I'm really happy about it. I'm just gluing my embellishments and then I'm hopping into some uh, more embellishments. <laughs> some pearls first because they will um, adhere for the background better when it's dry and white and not watercolored. So when I have added this, I'm hopping into the watercolors. It will be the final great thing to do for this layout because right now, well, it's colorful, but I want to make sure that it looks kind of art, <laughs> artistic look. And that's why I'm just adding some purple next to the purple flower and some blue next to the blue flowers and so on. Not that much, but just some, like the flower <laughs> will just spread its color around the page. And it's kind of funny idea. Uh, I'm starting with this lighter color, like yellow and really light purple, and then moving into the darker ones because I don't want to um, add too much dark colors at this point when I'm not sure how much will I add the watercolors. I'm also splashing around some, some drops of the colors because I want to make sure that there's really much of that artistic look and there are drops of color on top of the flowers too. And I really adore the way the flowers are looking now because the patterned paper I used is kind of like watercolor strokes or something. So this watercoloring fits perfectly for this page. And that's it. It was really uh, easy and fun to do. Um, you can use those stamps and dies in so many different ways. And I hope you are inspired. I will also show you another video with all the new products later on, so stay tuned, and thank you so much for watching this, I really hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe my channel to see what, what I have in my pocket, yeah, so thank you for watching, and bye!